Is this rock tomato or something? Yeah, music tomato. Music tomato. <laughs> <laughs> えー、ニューヨーク州の州都おアルバニーで、えー、今日は、えー、メタリカのコンサートがあります、えー、ドラマーのラーズに来ておりました、えー、こんにちはハデン Okay, hello <laughs> You are going back to Japan, how do you feel? Great, great It's,、uh, I think it's been too long I think it's been about two and a half years、right. now and、um, I know that you see people say this about every place that they go but、uh, up till we went to Japan up in, in 86, that was definitely the best tour that we'd ever been on, ever, anywhere. <laughs> And、um, we really just look forward to coming back. That's great.、Yeah. Mm. Uh, why did you try to make a music video this time?、Wow. Um, I think it was basically because that,、um, first of all, because we'd never done one. Right. And、um, it almost became a bit of a, a challenge to try and see if we could do one our way, on our terms. And, Then, secondly, when we found out about the movie that was、uh, done about the book, Johnny Got His Gun,、mm-hmm. it sort of seemed like there was a chance to do a video that would be really, really different than what any other rock bands have done、I、in the、see. last few years. And then, you know, Metallica, we always、mm-hmm. like to do things as different as possible. So it just two and two kind of connected, and we started focusing in on the,、uh, <clears throat> on the chance to really pull off something very different.、Mm-hmm. I think that video is so effective to the new fans. To- You know, understand what the metric is.、I、right.、Uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's,、uh, it's just, you know, very different from,、uh, you know, not anything against, you know, your White Snakes or your Motley Coos, but it's just, it's very different. And I think it's,、uh, it is very Metallica and it was something that we set out to do. We had an agreement with a record company, which was that when the video was done,、mm-hmm. if we weren't happy with it, we'd just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> so,、uh, That was quite good. So, yes, I'm very happy with it, and I think it is very Metallica. As a matter of fact, there's also,、um, we just finished working on, on a second version of the video, which is, you know, this, the same, obviously, song and, and video, but without any other story in it.、Mm-hmm. So now there's two different versions. There's the one that has the full story, full, yeah. the story and, and all the movie、mm-hmm. clips and the dialogue. And then we just edited it one together just with a band playing. Right. You know, just a song in that environment.、Mm-hmm. So there's actually two different ones available there.、Um, what do you try to say to one?、Um, I don't look at it as much as, as what we're trying to say. It, it's more really a story. It's, it's an idea that we had actually way back on the Master of Puppets album,、mm-hmm. um, where it was like what it would be like to be in a situation where you could not communicate with anyone around you, where you.、Um, Were basically a basket case,、uh, <laughs> just like a, a living consciousness,、right. kind of where you had no arms, legs, obviously couldn't、mm-hmm. see, hear, or speak, or anything. But there was an idea we had a long time ago, but we couldn't really get on with it from there on until one day when we were writing stuff for the Justice album.、Mm-hmm. I talked to Cliff Bernstein, our manager, and he suggested that there was a book、mm-hmm. that was set against that same idea called Johnny Got His Gun.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, James went out and got it and read it. And then we set that idea against the sort of World War I background and all that. But initially, it only started out just as an idea. It wasn't that we read the book and then wanted to write a song about it. It was an idea that we had, and then the book sort of got us going and put the, the song in the background of the World War I thing and all that. We're not really, I don't really look at it as much as, as us trying to say anything specific or anything. It's just, it's a story about what it would be like to be in that kind of awful situation, obviously.、Mm. But anyway, you know, good video, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how did you feel, you know, performing at the Grammy? <laughs>、uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was,、oh, yeah? uh, it was a little different, obviously, than the usual Metallica audience. But、uh, right. it was,、um, I think it was,、uh, you, know, you know us, we always like to try new things, and、mm-hmm. we never actually tried to do anything that, you know,、uh, mm-hmm. formal or strict or whatever.、Right. And it was, It was quite interesting. I was very happy about the performance because we had some, some sound checks and some、um, you rehearsal the day before where everything went wrong. You know,、oh, yeah. guitars went out and people forgot the new arrangement of the song. It was really bad. And I thought, oh no, <laughs> this is, you know, tonight on television, live,、yeah. Metallica is、right. all over. You know? And、um, then we went out and we actually played the best version of the song that I think that we could play under any circumstances. All the guitars. Were plugged in right, there were no mistakes, and, and everyone was very on top of it. So I was very happy about that, definitely. I don't think it could have been any better.、Mm. Is there any pressure?、Um, I think the only pressure was,、um, or at least speaking for myself, I was 
I was a little nervous. I was nervous about if everything would work right. right. You know, we only had six minutes from mm -hmm. um, to get everything up, right. and you're dealing with, you know, a lot of people. What's called union, you know, just right. stage hands, and it's like, oh, this goes into this socket, and they plug it in very wrong. And uh -huh. I, would, I think we were all a little worried about the technical side of it, but as soon as we all realized, I think that everything was actually working, and you know, 15, 30 seconds into the song, everything was okay. We really. I think opened up and really went for it, which was mm. good. So, you know, so many fans sold, you know, Metallica would be a winner. Right. So. I think, let's be realistic, and, and, and I think the real win for us was being on the show and mm. playing that, I think, is what's going to last in, in, people, in people's mind. And who won the award, I think, is going to fade away a lot quicker. You have to remember that most of the people that vote in the Grammy Academy are people that are a lot older than both the fans mm -hmm. and the people in the media and the people in the music business. There are people that are like retired, you know, audio engineers and just, you know, slightly older people that are maybe a little less in touch with what mm -hmm. goes on at the moment. And you gotta remember that when they look at the list and go, okay, Metallica, they go, who the hell is Metallica? <laughs> and they go, oh, Jethro Tull. I remember Jethro Tull from, you know, 20 years ago when I was young myself and I was, I better vote for them. So. I think we were told by Cliff Bernstein and Mensch that that it would probably end up being either ACDC or Jethro Tull simply because of what's called the name recognition, oh. which means, you know, oh, here are five names. Oh, I recognize the name Jeth Jethro Tull more than anyone else. So um, we were really kind of prepared for it, even though everyone had been building Metallica mm -hmm. up to win it. But like I said, I think the most important thing for us was being on the show, and, and right. that's what was the good thing. So. Mm. I think, you know, Jay didn't know about about what heavy metal, you know, what's hard rock. Uh, it was quite funny because there, there was an interview with the uh, the president of the mm -hmm. Academy the day after, and he said that the only thing he was really embarrassed about was the heavy metal category. And he said that uh, you see it takes the Academy a few years to really even understand what the hell the uh, the award is for and so forth. But he actually apologized in the LA Times. It was so funny. Yeah. He was very embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, you know, you have a platinum album. Still, how do yes. you feel? I feel great. It's uh, obviously I feel great. It's uh, it's very close to double platinum. Right. It's I uh, just just under two million. As a matter of fact, uh, in the last six weeks, it's really starting to pick up again. Right. You know, the album keeps moving up the mm -hmm. charts now, and and obviously, it's very funny that we uh, we have a single in the in the hot one. Right, right. <laughs> Which is obviously very funny. I think this week it's 46 and oh, it's still great. climbing up. But the album has really um, picked up in the last, you know, six weeks, and um, I think the uh, the double platinum looms oh, in cool. the distance, which is nice. Yeah? yeah, I think you know everybody, you know, to watch the video clip one, you right? And um, strong impress from that. Yeah. So you know, singles, album, you know. And also, yeah. obviously, you know, we're doing very much touring right now and mm -hmm. the Grammys. So at the moment, everything is very. Uh, just right mm. with Metallica. So. Yeah, everybody knows Metallica, <laughs> even mom, you know? Right. <laughs> well, I think you knew album and just for, you know, it's a sound like more, more live sound. How do you feel? Yes, it's definitely. Yeah. I think... Um, it's very different, you know, muscle puppets. And um, yeah, it's a little less uh, polished. I think we wanted to, um, to go for something that was a little harder, a little raw, a little... Uh, punchier no. at this time around in the mix and in the sound and also I think that the big difference is that this time around we actually had written all the songs and knew all the songs before we went in the studio and that way we um, feel the songs a little more when we played them as opposed to on Master of Puppets a lot of the songs were only written a few days before we started recording them right. so you didn't really know them very well so they're a little sort of stiff mm -hmm. on the Justice album I think it's a little more confident, a little more relaxed because we know the song so well, and I think that makes it sound a little livelier mm -hmm. overall. Mm -hmm. And also after you know this album, you joined Monsters of Rock Festival. Yes. Do you have any memories of Monsters oh, of Rock? Oh, I have many memories. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was. Uh, I think it was a great thing for us to to be you know associated with. I think we were the band of all of them that probably got the most out of it and mm -hmm. probably had the most to gain. And I think that uh, it was a lot of fun for us. We were with the uh, the Dawkin guys every day, yeah. and you know we have the same management mm -hmm. of them, so we would travel with Dawkin every right. day and same hotels and everything, and that was that was a lot of fun. And um, 
you know, the shows, you know, we would go on at four in the afternoon, you know, when we were barely even mm -hmm. awake yet. <laughs> but uh, it was it was good, and I think it really sort of set up, you know, uh, all the stuff that happened with the Justice album taking off in in September and the way that we're doing so well with the tour now and everything. You really have to to say that the Monsters tour had a lot to do with that, obviously. So it was very good. I see. Um, Japanese audience, uh, you know, the very interested about your new stage set. Right. <laughs> Tell me about. Um, uh, well, basically, what we're doing is we we want to bring the whole set over to Japan, mm -hmm. and um, unfortunately, I hear in in some of the a couple of the smaller venues, I don't know if we can get the whole thing in as usual, but um, I know at the um, at the Tokyo shows we'll definitely be able to put the whole thing on. It. it I don't want to give too much of it away, and I'm sure they've seen some pictures of it already, but it basically obviously evolves around the uh, the front cover, the mm -hmm. Injustice for All album, and we're just trying to do something that's a little bit, you know, different. You know, it's, um, I think it plays more on, on stuff like moods and on, on feels, and, and the guy who, uh, our lighting guy who runs the whole thing, it plays very much with each song is, is different in the overall lighting. Oh, yeah? And, yeah, so it's not like the whole, you go out on the first number, everything is just the same for the next two hours. It's like the lights are very, very different from every song. And and it's just, it sort of gets built up and then sort of kind of gets unbuilt back down. Wow. And it's, uh, I like to look at it that it's a little bit different than what uh, most other metal bands have been doing in the last couple of years. It's a little more moodier and wow. it plays a lot on the on the moods of the songs and so forth. And um, you know, we're, we're try trying to bring as much as, of it as I think at the Tokyo shows, we'll be able to have everything. But at some of the Nagoya and Osaka shows, mm -hmm. which are very yeah, small right. stages, mm -hmm. I don't, but, you know, we try and bring as much as we can. And mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll do yeah, our everybody, best. you know, excited <laughs> about that, you know. <laughs> so the, uh, how was that idea come along? Um, I know, think it... Peter Depp and... Uh, it just basically came, I think, from both John Broderick, which was our lighting designer. We mm -hmm. told him that we really wanted something that was very different than what other metal bands have been doing. And obviously, you know, he connected in on the cover. And so far, I think that we actually do, even though I don't like to <laughs> We also have to give a little credit to Peter Mensch. Because <laughs> oh, yeah? he, um, he's very good with mm -hmm. ideas like that. Right. So um, Peter Mensch definitely, too, came up with some of the ideas. <laughs> Could you give a message to a Japanese audience? Uh, Japanese audience, hello. Um, well, I think that the best thing to say is just that we're really, really looking forward to, uh, to coming back there again. Like I said, our tour in, um, in November of 86 was uh, the best tour and the most fun that we'd had up to that point in time. And uh, I think two and a half years to be away from Japan is, is way too long. And um, it's great to see, obviously, that the tickets are selling so well that we've added the second Tokyo show, which we're very happy about. And um, we'll be over for about two weeks. So. Um, Let's have a good time. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Okay. Okay, we need three different ideas. Ideas, yeah. Just a pure rock. Pure rock, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, just, just yeah. Yeah, uh, identify yourself and uh, you're watching pure rock. Okay. Yo, this is Lars from Metallica, and you're watching the Pure Rock show right here. <laughs> no, it's just Pure Rock, not any TV station or anything? Uh, just Pure Rock. Pure Rock, okay. Yeah. Yo, this is Lars from Metallica, and you're watching the Pure Rock show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go number three. <laughs> Yo, this is Lars from Metallica, and you're watching Pure Rock. Music Tomato World. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, yo, this is Lars from Metallica. And you're watching Music Tomato World. Funky Tomato. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, this is Lars from Metallica. And you're watching The Funky Tomato Show. And one radio Okay. Okay. <laughs> えー、今度ギタリストのですね、え、ジェームスとインタビューしてみようと思いますけども、you just wake up? Uh, yeah, a little while ago. <laughs> How's it going tour? Good, good. Good? Yeah, we've been out for quite a while now. Uh, almost a, a whole year, you mm -hmm. know, since the Monsters of Rock thing. Right. 
and uh, things are going good. Yeah. We've been selling out here and there and uh, just doing our thing. It's great. Uh, you're going back to Japan. How do you feel? Yeah, great. We always like Japan. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we were only there for 10 days last time, so、well, yeah, right. a little longer this time.、Mm -hmm. um, I'm very interested about your、uh, music video one.、Um, why did you try to make a music video this time?、Uh, well, everyone was saying that、uh, Metallica will never do a video,、right. so now we go, okay, let's、mm. do one. <laughs>、mm. And、uh, I don't know, it was the right song, it was the right time. And、uh, we had some good ideas to you know, put along with the song for the video.、Mm -hmm. And it was, it was just the right time.、Mm -hmm. And I'm been, been interested about the、uh, uh, demo version of one. <laughs> yeah, demo, the demo version. version. <laughs> demo version. Because um,、uh, I think the four tracks or something? Four tracks.、Uh, on the demo? Yeah. Demo. Version of one, yeah. I think, uh, you know, uh, coming soon, right?、Release. Yeah, it'll be on the B side of something, right?、Like. Tell me about the story. Uh, well, it's, it's on you know, a little four track machine, the Fostex, and、uh, like there's no bass on it. There's no,、uh, I did a lot of the lead stuff on it,、mm -hmm. and it was just me and Lars just trying to get the song together. And there were basically demos for our management and record company just to tell them, you know,、uh -huh. hey, we're working on stuff and here it is. And、mm -hmm. just thought it'd be, a, you know, kind of different to put that on the B side of something. You know, there's,、uh, there's not all the lyrics are there. So it's like, nah, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> there's no lyrics and, you know, the leads are crap, you know.、Mm -hmm. It's something different. You know? Is that recorded,、uh, recorded studio? No.、Uh, no, it was in our garage. And、garage. it was just, you know, two microphones plugged in. And, oh. Just me and Lars, basically.、Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. Yeah.、yeah. Mm. And also, you know,、um, music video one. I think that video is so effective to uh, uh, the new fans, you know, that to understand what Metallica is. What do you think?、Uh, well, I definitely think it's, it's a good one to show what we're all about. That we, you know, there's some kind of message in the song, you know, it's not、mm -hmm. just, hey, rock, you know, and you know, <laughs> chicks run, walking and, you know, all that. Uh, the song is from that, you know, the book and the movie Johnny Got His Gun.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, the, there's a long version and there's a shorter version they've done.、Uh, <clears throat> once you see the short version, after you see the long version, it's, it's not as good. But the,、uh -huh. the long version tells the story a lot better. But、mm -hmm. still, in the short version, you can make out what's going on.、Mm -hmm. And uh, just, uh, it's a pretty heavy、right. topic. And、uh, some of the stuff's, you know, Pretty tough. Right.、Uh, wh why did you use so many、um, footage of the movie?、Uh, just to basically tell the story a bit better.、Mm -hmm. On maybe、uh, some people might not catch on what's going on really. And just, just showing the footage. I mean, it's, a lot, it's real different too, because there's a lot of the movie, and you know, at times it's, you know, it's like we're doing the soundtrack to this movie. <laughs> you know?、uh, uh, it's just different. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, what, do you, what do you try to say、uh, through when?、Uh, what are we saying?、Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, it's just basically that story about the guy who, uh, who uh, was、Johnny. in the war. And、uh, it's just at the end how no one you know, really cares.、Right. You know, after the war, he's just like there. He's just like a brain living in this thing. And he's trying to communicate, and no one can understand, you know. He wants you know, them to kill him, but he can't. You know, he's got this iron lung thing keeping him going and all this. And at the end, he,、uh, he thinks they're trying to communicate to him, but then he just feels something in him and they're just pinning this metal on him, you know, and he's going, oh no, you know,、mm. kill me. And, you know,、right. that's pretty heavy.、Mm. I think the Japanese audience really, you know, strong impact from、uh, one, you know, music video one, even, you know, who don't like heavy metal music, I think. That's good, yeah.、Mm. So it's, it's been playing over there, the, the video? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> And、uh, I'm very interested about, you know, Grammy Award. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel performing、uh, Grammy?、Uh, oh, yeah? was, we were a little nervous. Nervous?、Uh, 
a little bit. I mean, live in front of you know millions right. of people. And also, you know, lots of famous you know musicians there, right? Yeah, there were some people you know watching us that you know didn't even know who we were, or you know Stevie Wonder and you know <laughs> all these other people.、Uh, but for us, that was definitely a great thing. I mean, even though we didn't win,、mm-hmm. I mean, playing on the thing was such a great thing. Right. You know, but it was just weird at the end. You know, Jethro Tull. <laughs> I think you know they didn't know about what is no, heavy metal, no, right? No, it's it's a, it's a real new, a new、uh, category for them.、Right. So they didn't really know what was、uh, what was really happening in the heavy metal, or you know, they、uh, you know they're older people, you know, in Nashville, and they're you know,、mm-hmm. you know, producers, musicians, and you know, older kind of people who don't really haven't really latched onto the new kind of thing yet. So it's 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 pretty typical, you know that. That they won,、mm-hmm. you know, they might have won ten years ago or something. But now, you know,、mm. it was pretty weird. I think nominate is very strange, you know. The Metallica CDC is all right, you know, but you know, Iggy Pop, Jethro, the Gen Addiction, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was very strange, and that just goes, you know, to show how they didn't really know what was going on.、Mm. It, was, it was a new thing for them, and the guy, I mean, the guy came on later and explained, you know, that it was a new thing and. They didn't really understand what was going on yet in that category. Yeah, but you know the、uh, I watch on TV. You know, lots booing. You know, yeah, cut to commercial quick. You know, yeah, <laughs> and just a little boo. <laughs> yeah,、uh, it was a lot of fun though. I mean, we got to see what really goes on. You know, you know behind the scenes. You know, during commercials, people are running around, <laughs> you know, and everyone sit down and all this. And、hmm. but it was cool because we get to do our own thing, you know, with with our lighting, with our, you know, we had these pyro things. I don't know, have you seen the?、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Right. So we get to do our own thing basically, so it didn't look all the same, you know, like all the other acts up there flashing lights, wow, 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 you know.、Mm-hmm. It was kind of a mysterious thing, which was cool.、Mm-hmm. But so many fans thought, you know, Metallica would be, you know, winner, you know. Yeah. Everybody. So did we. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought ACDC, you know, was going to win, basically,、mm-hmm. you know, but. You know, we were joking backstage. Yeah, just don't tell. You know, woo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>、uh, but once we, you know, once we got rolling up there playing, it was it was good.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of fun. Right. And the album, you know, Justice,、uh, you have almost a two million, right? In a sense,、uh, something like that. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. How do you feel? It's great. Yeah, great. Well, you know, really good.、Mm-hmm. The, well, radio's starting to play a little bit of one, the、mm-hmm. single one. A lot of the, you know, stations. The radio stations are finding out that hey, you know, Metallica is something they have to deal with, and so they're changing their format for us, you know.、Mm-hmm. So that's good. I mean, we've stuck to our principles, and we're getting, you know,、mm-hmm. bigger and bigger. Yeah, I'm. I'm very str- strange feeling because you know, single one, you know, it's a very, very good in chart, right? So I'm very strange feeling. You know, it's a Metallica no, album chart, not single chart. It's very strange feeling. <laughs> the singles, yeah. This is just kind of weird. But it's good, you know. Hey, doing it our way, and you know, if that you know, whatever happens, that's cool. You know,、mm-hmm. as long as it's done our way.、Mm-hmm. People changing to us, not us, you know, changing. Right. I think you know, new new young fan, you know, John, your metallic outfield. I think young heavy metal fans. I think you know, will buy the single,、mm. and you know, radio and TV. You know, to watch it, watch the one. Yeah, it's just a little more exposure, you know,、mm-hmm. the Grammy thing definitely, and you know the sing or the、uh, the video.、Mm-hmm. Even my father knows Metallica, you know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> how, how about your family?、Uh, Watch the TV. Yeah, they they saw the Grammy thing, and now my dad called me up at the hotel. Oh, you guys get ripped off, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jethro, who, you know, <laughs> my dad, you know, he's just Metallica, Metallica, you know. <laughs>、yeah, he's he's behind us. That's great. Mm. Well,、um, and also、uh, Japanese fans are interested about your new stage set. So tell me about this.、Uh, it's、uh, bigger, and <laughs> no. there's a lady, and uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know、uh, how much of the stuff we're going to get to bring over to Japan,、mm-hmm. but we'll、uh, definitely have like all we can bring. You know, the the Lady Justice. The, it's it's it's.、Uh, It's like kind of a court building, like the front, and it's it's just、uh, like a, a federal building that's kind of crumbled down, and、uh, just goes along with the、uh, subject matter on the album.、Mm-hmm. 
How is the setlist? All, all more songs from new album? Uh, no. <clears throat> no, there's, I mean, a bit from each album. Mm -hmm. uh, we play, we play about five or six new songs, though. Five songs. But uh, we play about two, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Uh. Oh, very. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> oh. But I mean, our songs are long, and we want to play a lot of songs, and then, I mean, mm -hmm. people get their money's worth, you know. Mm -hmm. And you said you know, Monsters Block because you know they're you touring the Monsters Block before Headliner Show, right? Do you have any uh, good memory or bad memory of the Monsters Block Festival? Uh, it was it was just a lot of fun. I mean, touring the summer in the United States is a lot of fun, and the bands were really cool. We hung out a lot, and uh, just really weird us going on at like two in the afternoon or three, you know. <laughs> By the time, you know, it was nighttime, we were all, you know, mm. either passed out or gone or something, but no. It was, uh, I mean, a few raging times, you know, just getting up jamming at bars here and there, you know, with some of the, you know, docking guys or whoever. Mm -hmm. you just get up at a local bar and, you know, jam or whatever. It's a lot of fun. Mm. And you touring with the Queensryche, it's the same management. How do you feel about the Queensryche? Uh, you, you, because the Queensryche, right. you know, touring in Japan, same time. Yeah. Metallica, May. Is it the same time or just before? Just before, yeah. just before. Uh, they're a good band. I mean, they they really, uh, on stage, their sound is really, uh, I mean, they try and represent the album sound as good as possible. Oh. I mean, they, they sound really good, and uh, they're they're tight. They're a good band for what they do. Could you give some message to Japanese audience? Hey, we're gonna be there soon and uh, warm up the sake, and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to get there. We've been waiting a while. ということですけども、鼻にピアスしてますけど、ちょっと聞いてみましょうか。して、when you get pierced? Uh, just after the Grammys. <laughs> Do any reasons? Uh, I don't know. It's so, different. De dedicated to <laughs> dedicated to the Grammy hours. Yeah, this is for Jethro, you know. <laughs> nah, I just felt like doing it. Something to do. I was bored. <laughs> そういうことなそうですけど。Okay, uh, hey, uh, couple of、uh, ID please. All right. Okay. Pure Rock. I didn't play yourself. No, you're <laughs> Hey, this is、uh, James from Metallica, and you're watching Music Tomato World. Great. Hey, what is this? What is this? Hey, Bassist and Jason, you're going to have a chance to meet with me. What's the tour? 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 Great. Great? We're crushing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, you're going back to Japan. How do you feel? Great. Absolutely. It's going to be excellent. We're looking forward to it. You know, the first time I was there was like、uh, I just joined the band and stuff,、right. so I was still kind of, you know, this、mm -hmm. time the band is so much stronger and, you know,、mm -hmm. really got it together now. So we're all looking forward to it.、Right. We're playing at some new place over there and everything, right? right?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, you told me you, you, know, you played in, in Japan right after you joined the Metal. Yeah, like、right? 11 days or something. 11 days, yeah. 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 That, how did you feel? Is there any pressure?、Uh, a lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah.、Uh, It was, I mean, you know, I couldn't even, I didn't even sleep for the first three months anyway that I was、oh, yeah? in the band. You know, I was like, I couldn't believe it, you know?、Mm -hmm. So,、uh, then going to Japan, that was a big thing for me. That was like a goal that I had set for myself before that,、mm -hmm. and then immediately to go there, you know, it's like, wow. So,、mm -hmm. uh, this time, I have a bit more control, you know, and、right. I feel a bit more confident with the band. So, I,、mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to be much better. Much,、right. much better. That's great. Yeah.、Uh, do you think Sound of Metallica has changed after you joined the band?、Um, Yeah, in a, in a way. You know,、mm -hmm. it's still、uh, very distinguishable. I mean, you can tell it's Metallica like that.、Mm -hmm. But、um, I think, you know, Cliff and I have such、uh, far different、uh, playing styles, you know, and stuff that it's naturally going to be a little bit different. But I, yeah, I personally don't think the band has ever been stronger than this. I think that Metallica is definitely stronger than it's ever been. Indestructible.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You told me, you know, this tour was great, but、uh, do you have any episode during this tour? Do I have any? Episode?、Uh, bad, you mean? Bad no, or just bad in or general? In general. Both.、Um, 
Yeah, not really. We've been keeping pretty controlled, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, there hasn't been any kind of huge wild road stories or anything because um, we're doing a lot of shows, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's doing 200 and some shows on this tour, right, within a year or something. And so we're really trying to you know, keep our you know, ourselves together as far as, uh, you know, I mean, like the drinking and, you know, getting in trouble and that kind of stuff. We're really trying to um, think positively because we, we want to be as good as we possibly can be. Everybody has it in their mind now that we have to, you know, we have to go out there and do this. This is our big chance. You know, mm -hmm. this is our big uh, headlining tour, and we have to show everybody what it's all about, prove to them that we can do it. And mm -hmm. so we're very conscious of that. You know, so there hasn't really been a whole lot of, uh, <laughs> you know, stereotype uh, road instances, you know, like real, real nutty stuff or anything. Mm -hmm. There's a few things in Europe, you know, tipping over cars and, you know, fun things like that. But <laughs> other than that, I think that had a lot to do with the Danzig guys were out on tour with us too. You know, the Misfits guys, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, uh, you played the Monsters of Rock before headlining a show. Right. Do you have any uh, good memory of the Monsters? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not, I mean, the memory isn't that good. Because <laughs> there was, you know, that was like weekend shows only. Mm -hmm. So during the week, you know, it was <laughs> but uh, I mean, it was a great, great experience and mm -hmm. such a good thing for us. We. We um, won over a lot of new fans, mm -hmm. you know, and it really kind of started the ball rolling for just in time for the uh, Justice album to come out and, you know, really just to start moving right, right along to fit right in with this headlining tour and everything. It was a great thing. Um, Van Halen guys, excellent. Just real nice to us all the time mm -hmm. and very friendly and very um, encouraging, you know, mm -hmm. really behind us. They really liked what we were doing. And, so it was a good feeling, really good vibe for the whole the whole time. Mm -hmm. Thirty shows or whatever, everyone was real good. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, why did you try to make a music video this time? Um, I think it just came to the point that we found something that was strong enough mm -hmm. to you know enough of a storyline that we could uh, that would represent Metallica. You know, we thought about it for a long time. We'd wanted to do one for a long time. You know, but we really hadn't found something that we thought was going to be able to really, mm -hmm. really do it, you mm -hmm. know, really make a mark, really be unique. Mm -hmm. So finally we, when we came up with all, you know, the Johnny got his gun with the book and then the movie following right. that and everything was, there was enough there that it was going to be strong. So we went ahead and gave it a try mm -hmm. and it came out pretty good. So, right. you know, we're yeah. all proud of it now, very proud of it. Mm -hmm. I think this video is so effective uh, to the new fans, mm -hmm. you know, to understand what Metallica is. Right. I agree. Yeah, it's um, yeah, like I say, it represents us. I mean, it's really, it's right there. It's not really the most uh, uplifting, mm -hmm. nice, happy thing, but it's um, nonetheless real. You know, it's it's very uh, to the point and mm -hmm. uh, has has kind of a good message to it. You know. Yeah, I think new fan bought a record. You know. Yeah. New, right. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, it helped. It helped. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I'm very interested about Grammy Awards. So. How did you feel performing the Grammy? Is, is <laughs> it, was, any... it was great. I mean, it, yeah? was, it was really... Lots famous, you know, musician there, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. When uh, we went for, you know, a couple of days of dress rehearsal prior to the to the show, and up in the in the theater, you know, it was like a, a regular theater with the seats going mm -hmm. like that, and um, in the in the places where these people were going to sit, mm -hmm. they had these their poster boards with their 8x10 promo shots, you know, pa uh, pasted to there, and that's uh... sitting in that chair. So we're looking out there and we're playing, mm -hmm. you know, and there's Joe Cocker, you know, Rod Stewart, <laughs> Quincy, Quincy Jones, uh, Stevie Wonder, ACDC, you know, just like all these people just go, holy shit, <laughs> <laughs> you know, woo, woo, woo. So it was, it was pretty weird. And then that to actually for when it, when it came down, mm -hmm. you know, it was like, there's all these guys running around with their headsets on, you know, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, panic. You know, and everyone's like, wow. It's <laughs> really, really weird thing to watch it all go down because for years, as a kid, you know, you watch it on TV and you see it and it's right. all glitzy, woo, woo, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when you see it all happen, mm -hmm. see behind the scenes, it, it becomes, you know, much more. Uh, it's I mean, fun. Yeah, it's it like, you see how it really goes down. It's not so huge and, mm -hmm. you know, it's like real stuff. So. But, Definitely interesting experience. Right. Very interesting. Right. But you know, so many fans thought Metallica would be a winner. Everybody you know? did. Yeah. Yeah. When I did an interview with my friend over <laughs> here, just you know, just prior to that, uh, you know, I'm going, yeah, we're gonna win. What about it? You know, we knew, <laughs> and I was like, we knew we we 
we knew that we were going to win. Everybody's telling, you guys got it, man. You guys got it in the bag. You know, and then uh, when it finally came down, we couldn't believe it. You know, it's like, because we were a bit too overconfident, you know. When it finally came down, we're just going, what? You know, no way, no way. Uh, but then after about 10 minutes, we calmed down and, you know, realized that, figure out who's voting for this and who actually nominated the people to begin with. And, you know, sorry, we'll get him next time. Yeah, I think, you know, the uh, they, you know, didn't understand what's heavy metal, you know. Yeah, that's true. You know, they're, they're, that was like the first year for the category, and they're still kind of, you know, they're not quite sure. Um, but we, we did good. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like 50 million people watching. Right, right. And, and we played good, and, mm -hmm. you know, everybody just kind of going, what? You know, mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. right in the front row, he's right in the front row. And we're just looking, and he's like, he's, he's got his brow, you know, it's all crossed out like this. He's going... Man, what the hell is that noise, man? You know, it's like, <laughs> how can people like this shit, man? You know, it's like, it was nuts. So, pretty, pretty, pretty nutty. Yeah. It was a good time, though. Mm -hmm. Really good time. Good experience. I think Rami is, you know, you good publicity of Metallica. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, five million people, you yeah, know. 50 million, yeah. Five, yeah. You know, even your family. Right, yeah, I, yeah. my mom and dad came yeah? out. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What he said? Uh, my dad, like when we lost, he said that he he booed louder than anybody, and I, because it was a huge, you know, when we first came on, it was louder than I ever expected. People, you know, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, but it was like, ah, we're going what? And then after we after they announced that we lost, mm -hmm. this huge booing came over the whole uh -huh. crowd, and the guys go, Joe, commercial, 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 you know, like <laughs> freaking out, man, because I didn't want it to go over the TV, you uh -huh. know. It was great. Yeah. It was great. Good experience. Yeah, you know? and everybody knew. I mean, everybody knew what was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And you could tell by the booze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I don't know. I mean, the new fans are very interested about, you know, the Metallica and the Grammy. What do you think of the core fans, the maniacs? Um, uh, you know, there's always going to be, be a few that are saying, oh, you guys selling out. What are you doing? National mm -hmm. TV, you know, they're not mm -hmm. want, willing to accept it. But it's just, um, I mean, they should. I want them to look at it like a positive thing. I mean, we're doing this for everybody. We're not doing just doing it for us. You know, we're not just doing it to be oh whoopee TV stars, whatever. We're doing it for, for you know, the metal thing, the movement. You know, the whole thing. Metallica has been at the at the front, the forefront of the whole the whole scene anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So it would only be right that we're the ones to represent that kind of music on, on that big of a scale. Mm -hmm. So you know, I think that they. If they're going to be that close-minded and thick-headed about it, then that's dumb. That, that doesn't really matter. I think that they should be behind us. If they're behind us, they should be behind us all the way. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and it was a we wouldn't have went and did it if we thought it was going to be some stupid thing. It was a it was something you know for real and something that meant a lot. You know, mm -hmm. it was breaking down a big wall there because mm -hmm. pe before a couple of years ago, people would never even have heard. You know, they right. would never even have thought of that. They go, what mm -hmm. that kind of music on TV? What are you kidding? You right. know, but uh, I think that. We made the right move. It was our decision, and I think that the kids that should accept it, even the hardcore maniacs, they, they should accept it because we felt it was right, and if we didn't, we wouldn't have done it. So mm -hmm. they should go along with us. Just a second, I'm going to give you a Japanese audience. Could you give me some message Japanese audience? Could you give me some message to Japanese audience? Hi, hi. We're going to be there soon, my friends, and you better be ready because we're going to crush again. It'll be fun. Okay. Okay. Two ideas, please. Uh, music Tomato World and Pure Rock. Music Tomato World again? And the Pure <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that. Oh, it's okay. Anyway. So just uh, just you're watching, watching music. Okay. You're watching okay. Music okay. okay. Can I hide them? Yeah. Yeah. You want me to? Uh, Okay. Uh, I can get away with it. Ready? Hello. This is Jason Newstead from Metallica. You're listening to Music Tomato World. <laughs> and uh, Pure Rock, please. Hi, I. This is Jason from Metallica, and you are watching Pure Rock. Okay. Hey, did on the first one, did I say listening to? Yeah. Did I say, I didn't say watching on yeah, Tomato, yeah. did I? I said listening. Yeah, I better do tomato. Okay. Hello, my friends. This is Jason from Metallica, and you're watching Music Tomato World. Hello. 
はい、えー、ここアルバニーのおーバックステージのシャワールームでございますけども、えー、出番中のおーカー君ちょっといろいろインタビューしてみましょうおーカーカーでうん、pretty good doing pretty well good how's it going to really good yeah yeah really good I'm, I'm surprised、uh, the audiences have been great and、uh, it's just been a lot of fun、mm-hmm. Now that we've, we have,、uh, this is our first headlining tour,、right. things are a lot different now. We're in control of a lot of, of, a lot of over what goes on. And, and、um, things have been running really smoothly.、Mm-hmm. And,、uh, you know, just going along.、Mm-hmm. I don't find lots of cat picture here. <laughs> so you like cats? I like cats, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but that, that's our, our, our wardrobe lady, Ali's cats.、Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I have, a, I have a cat named Clouseau. It's、oh. like the Persian Himalayan. Cool cat. Yeah. And also, you are very interested about, I mean, the Japanese cartoon, right?、Mm-hmm. Uh, Devil Man. Devil Do Man. Yeah. Yeah. Why you, you like the, the Japanese cartoon? Something like a Godzilla. You yeah. Know, it's a, it's a, the animation is really good.、Yeah. I like、uh, Adam Boy a、mm-hmm. lot too. Adam Boy and Devil Do Man are, and Captain Horlock. Are probably my favorite when it comes to Japanese cartoons. But the animation's really good. It's done very well. And、uh, Go Nagai is a, a very good、uh, artist. And、uh, me and Pusshead are big fans、mm-hmm. of Japanese animation and cartoons.、Mm-hmm. You have、um, lots of you know, Japanese cartoon plum order or something? Mm hmm. In, in my.、Uh, Rectors? Yeah,、uh, in my.、Uh, At my house, I have a lot of Japanese toys and a lot of Japanese uh,、um, videotapes of, of cartoons. And I have a, a few Japanese pen pals who,、uh, when, when I, we go over to Japan, I'll be seeing them. And sometimes they come over here too. Oh, yeah? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Pretty fun.、Uh, you played、uh, Little Wings on the stage, right? Yeah. yeah. That's one of the roots of your guitar style? Uh, well, no. I've always liked Jimi Hendrix. And I, I just I like that, that song quite a bit. So it, it was decided that you know, maybe we should, we should try and work it into the, to the open solo because it,、uh, it you know, changes things around a little bit. And、uh, it, you know, it changes the, pay, the whole mood of the guitar、uh, solo. Instead of you know, just someone standing there playing guitar for 15 minutes, this is.、Uh, A part where the rest of the band could like, you know, come in as an accompaniment. And it just works really good. It, it just shifts the mood of the guitar solo.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I asked everybody, but I asked you again, I mean,、uh, how did you feel performing in a Grammy Award? <laughs> I was very, very, very nervous. Yeah? Yeah. And the, the reason why I was nervous is because、um, we had a dress rehearsal、um, that morning.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, it was an on camera dress rehearsal, which meant you know, the camera was on us while we were, we were rehearsing. And my guitar didn't come on until、uh, halfway through the song. And my monitor wasn't plugged in. And I just thought, oh God, you know, I hope this doesn't happen tonight <laughs> on camera you know, in front of 30 million people. So that's, that's what made me so nervous is the,、uh, the、mm. fact that,、uh, that you know, there was a. <laughs> there was a、uh, that was James, everyone. <laughs> The, uh, there's a, you know, a possibility that my instrument might, might not be working. But I mean, you know, other than that, it was pretty cool.、Mm. It, was, it was different. <laughs> But so many fans you know, would be, you know,、uh, thought would be the Metallica's winner, you know?、Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I expected someone like ACDC to win or something like that.、Mm-hmm. But、uh, when Jeff Lotel won it, my, my jaw dropped. I went, huh? <laughs> Couldn't believe it. It was a shock. I was amazed. It's a band, everybody was really surprised. Yeah, everyone, surprised. everyone, everyone in the entire building, I think, was surprised.、Mm. It was really amazing. How about your parents?、What? My parents were there. My, my mother was there. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I brought her there you know, so she can see her son on the Grammys. And、uh, she was a.、Uh, When they announced Jethro Tull, she was part of the,、uh, the people who started booing. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>、uh, well,、uh, you are going back to Japan soon. Yes. How do you feel? It's going to be great. I'm, gonna,、um, I'm staying、uh, 
I'm staying in Japan two extra days so me and Pusshead can go. Really? Yeah. So could uh, visit some friends and do some toy shopping. Toy shopping? Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Meet Gona guy. And, uh, gonna have a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, it's been two years since we've last been right. there. And I have a, a big list of, uh, of, uh, of things that I want to get. There's, there's these, um, there's these models that are made in, in Japan called Billiken models. Mm -hmm. And they're really nice. Uh, the, the detail and craftsman, craftsmanship is, is excellent. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one of the main things I'm going to be getting when I go over there. Wow, it's fun. Yeah, it's great, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, um, last thing, could you give me a message to Japanese audience from Kurt? <laughs> Hello, guys and girls. Can't wait to see you in Japan. It's going to be great. Yeah. Is that it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, this is Kirk Hammett from Metallica, and you're watching Pure Rock. <laughs> now it's called Music Tomato World. Music Tomato World. Hello, this is Kirk Hammett of Metallica, and you're listening to Pure Tomato World. Did I say that right? Music. <laughs> oh, it's... And, and watch it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Music yeah. Tomato World. <laughs> Hello, this is Kirk Hammett from Metallica, and you're listening to... Music Tomato World. You're watching Music Tomato World. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, one more time, okay? This is Kirk Hammett from Metallica, and you're watching Music Tomato World. Are you choking yet? Are you? Aren't you? Whatever. Okay, <laughs> hey, actually. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>